The Model 3 just got a new update with auto dimming headlights. Let's check out how it compares to the Model X next on Now You Know. You may be wondering how auto dimming headlights even works. And also you might be wondering, how did Tesla even add this feature after the car was already delivered? Because remember, this feature came about from someone just tweeting Elon, asking him to add it. The stereoscopic camera here on the front of the Model 3 can see when headlights or brake lights are in its field of vision. And through the car's software can tell the headlights to go into high beams or low beams, depending on the situation, so that you as the driver don't have to worry about it. To turn on auto dimming headlights, here's what you do. First, we're gonna go down here to our quick controls. And within quick controls, we're gonna hit lights. Now we're gonna get over to our auto high beam button and turn that on. That'll enable auto high beam. That means that unlike this, which is just showing your low beams are on, when you flick on your high beams, you'll now see an A. That means that you're in automatic auto dimming high beams. The Model X has great auto dimming headlights, so I thought we'd take both the Model 3 and the Model X out on road, both back roads and highways, and then compare them so you could see how they stack up. So let's go for a spin in the Model X. All right, so this is night driving in the Model X with the auto beams. So the auto beams are off right now as we're approaching some cars. And as we pass them, let's see if they, yep, they start to ramp up and you can see much more of the road. And it's hard to see because they ramp up slowly. They don't just click right on. They, they come on, it takes about two seconds for them to slowly ramp up. I'd be curious to see if, uh, if the construction lights fool it into thinking they're cars. So let's see, after we pass this car, let's see what happens. Okay, so we passed that car and the high beams are on, so the construction stuff does not fool it. It knows that these are just construction cones. And they can tell the difference between reflectors, which is really cool. Like we're passing a lot of uh, street lights and reflectors and it doesn't doesn't fool the, them into thinking that it's, it's a car. But now it sees a car, it flipped down. And let's see if we pass the car. Yep, they flip up. So as you can see in the Model X, it works really well. We're gonna get onto the highway and uh, see how it handles in highway situations. So high beams, which is nice on an on-ramp because you wanna be able to see well. Here comes a car. It stayed on during that. I think that's because we were outside of the car's ability to see us. We're getting onto the, the ramp now. It's just shut off, went to low beams. We're probably gonna be in low beams this whole ride because there's so much traffic. Let's see. It's pretty amazing that the stereoscopic camera and the computer system can discern what's a car, what's not a car. Because just keep in mind, we were just driving through a construction site that had lots of flashing, blinking lights, and it knew that none of those were cars. Now we're around a bunch of red lights, and it knows that they are cars. That's quite remarkable if you think about the programming that had to go into that. Okay, let's see how the Model 3 does on the same roads. All right, so it's still in low, which is kind of weird. I don't know why it hasn't switched yet. There we go. And it switched fast. That was a f So it's not a ramp up like in the Model X. That It happens almost instantaneously. Um, and it took longer there than it did in the Model X to switch when we took that turn. Uh, it took, here we go, the car coming, it switched back. That was good. Let's see as we pass the car. It took longer, it has no problems with reflectors. We got, for instance, we got, okay, now it got fooled. We got a couple, oh, and it, it's not, it went back and forth, I don't know if you saw that, but there's a couple red lights up ahead at an intersection, and I think it thought that was a car, now it thinks it's not a car. So that was a little bit of a fool. It didn't happen to the Model X. There's a car coming, it got that. And we're passing the cars now. And it switch, car coming, switch back. It's it's doing a great job. I mean, keep in mind the Model X is a luxury, high-end luxury car costing over $100,000. This car starts at $35,000. And it seems to have pretty much the same system in it. I'm gonna slow down because I wanna see if once we pass this car and we're in a construction zone, how the car does. All right, so we're gonna pass the car now. not switching off of low beams and it might be because of that car in the in the parking lot that's all I can think of 
but we've stayed in low beams the whole time, whereas the Model X had switched to high beams. So, again, I'm not sure if that's because it got confused by all the cones, or if that's because it saw that car in the parking lot. And we're going to get in the highway. Let's see if there's any false positives that happen on the highway. And it just switched to low beams because it sensed some car... Oh, it went to high beams again, and then low beams again. Interesting. Alright, getting on the highway. Let's see what happens. It's so awesome having a car with a center screen, and if they want to update the software, they can just add new features. If you think about this for a second, if this were, you know, up until this car, if you wanted to add this new feature, where would you have put that little light indicator? There's no way you could have done it, because in most other cars, you've got a special dedicated light for such a thing. Here, they just reprogrammed it. Here's what I think is amazing. You know, Elon gets tweeted in March, hey, can we have auto dimming headlights in the Model 3? He replies back, sure. Two months later, we have auto dimming headlights. So it's been staying on low beams the entire time on the highway, as it should. We're about to take an exit where it's really dark. And like we saw in the Model X, the high beams came on for that. Let's see if they respond the same way. Are we gonna get the high beams? They should come on now. And they shouldn't be on now because of that guy. And they should be on now. Okay, so we've. This is a, our first thing that I don't like. Uh, they have not come on. And there's really no reason for them not to be on right now. I mean, now you could argue that they shouldn't be on because of those cars ahead of us, but that whole last part of the turn, they should have been on. And they were not. Let's see what happens when we pass this guy here. They should come on. And they are not. Okay, this guy does not like me going this slow. They just went on for a second. Just trying to get data, sir. Just trying to get data. And uh, I was hoping to see... Oh, they turned on for a second, then they turned off. So they kind of had a false read right there. And they shouldn't turn on, actually, because that one lone guy in front of us... Oh, they are turning on. They might be blinding that guy up there. Don't know. That's something uh, Model X would not have done. I don't know if that's because we're lower than the Model X. That guy way in front of us. Oh, it did turn him on, and I'm sure that's... I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't say that's blinding him in his rearview mirror, but I'm sure he can see them turning on. That's very interesting. One, two, three. They're on. They're off. So yeah, I, uh, I am ready to give my verdict here. All right, I feel like I'm kind of the world's leading expert now on uh, auto dimming headlights in the Model 3. In fact, I might be because uh, we just got the update and I fully tested it against the Model X. So as the world's leading expert, I can tell you that the Model X would get an A rating. It is just pretty much perfect. It's better than any human could ever do it. The Model 3, I would have to say, is a B. It's very good, but it's not as good is perfect as the Model X. You saw a couple instances there on the road where first thing is it doesn't come on as fast as the Model X. So after you pass a car, the Model X is very quick to turning them back on um, and the Model 3 takes about three seconds. Still great. Then when we got off the highway, you saw there was a time when we were clearly could have had the high beams on and they just didn't turn on for some reason, probably because it saw other lights and was confused and thought that those were cars. So that was a point against it. But other than that, it did a fantastic job, and I think uh, you should be very excited about getting auto-dimming headlights in the Model 3. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe and to like us, and that's that little thumbs up button. And what that does is it shares the videos with other people who might be interested in watching this episode. And uh, don't forget to go over to Patreon and support us on Patreon because if you do for as little as a buck a month, you will get to see all of our Patreon bonus videos, which means all of those cool stories on Tesla Time News that nobody else can see. So that means that you'll get to see all those stories for just pennies a month, and it helps us so much. So thank you for supporting us, and don't forget, now you know. <laughs>